courts are involved in insolvency processes. Well, that depends really on the insolvency process, but the, the main two courts that you, you get involved are in the High Court of Justice, uh, and this is the commercial side or a county court. Um, there's no rhyme or reason necessarily for going one rather than the other, say, if you're doing a bankruptcy. Uh, costs in the High Court will be slightly more, uh, and obviously time in a High Court is more difficult to, uh, to organise. So um, if you're petitioning for a bankruptcy, say, if you're a general trader petitioning for somebody's bankruptcy, the general practices, you'll, you'll do that in the county court. Uh, the Inland Revenue uh, HMRC tend to do it in the high court because they bring out a period of time and do multiple petitions at one time and it's easier for them and their advisors to do it in such a way. Um, besides dealing with bankruptcies, you've got compulsory liquidations which go through the court process. They tend to be high court. Uh, but not exclusively, and then uh, filing of administration petitions. That, again, is a high court matter.